It says clothes. What? It looks very dirty. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Are we on, everybody? Yeah? We're going to clean our screen. Hello, everyone. I'm going to grab a thing to clean. Thanks. So while he's cleaning the screen, I just want to say it is cold here in Hawaii. Super cold to the point where on the news, they're like, help. In Hawaii, it's only like 65 degrees and nobody owns pants. <laughs> because it's true. Most people, that's, that's good, that's good. Most people don't even have pants. And it's 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 cold out, man. Here's Bella. She wants to say hello. Um, and today I want to say if you are interested in coming on an amazing keto retreat with me, today is the last day to sign up for the Thailand trip. And we are going. Um, Thailand starts, I believe, March 16th um, to the 20 something. So if you are interested in just getting away and there's no judging on any of my trips, um, as long as you just come with a really great attitude, which everybody does, uh, we have so much fun. Um, I usually miss my family when I travel, but I don't when I go on my keto retreats, cause I just have so much fun. And, um, if you want to eat keto or carnivore, you have plenty of opportunity to do that. But if you want gelato, I don't care. I'm not a judgy person. If you just uh, want to chill out, it's awesome. Otherwise, we also have a, um, I have a Portugal trip in May. So if you want to come to Portugal in May, um, I'm really excited. That's May 6th through the 18th or something like that. So that's really an amazing uh, treat to go on to. Um, so questions. Get a couple of questions here, and then we'll get back to the stuff. OK. Yep. I was going to do something else. OK, okay go for question. it. Yep, go ahead. Don't tell us the Packers score because yeah. it's still, it's like 8, 9 a.m. here. We didn't watch the Packers yet. We didn't start it yet. So do not please say the <clears throat> Packers score. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> Somebody had a question uh, they sent in early at us. says, uh, would protein sparing modified fast way of eating benefit someone recently diagnosed with cardiac amyloidosis? Uh, I'm sorry uh, for your diagnosis. Yeah. Uh, stiffening of the heart. Uh I'm not sure if protein sparing, protein sparing modified fast is, is mainly a tool for weight loss um, and healing and, and general digestive issues, conditions, just prioritizing protein in general. But, you know, for that kind of thing, I, I think the one thing is, so we don't recommend long-term fasting, fasting longer than 24 hours for vast majority of people. Because they do it for weight loss. It's not a good idea. There's a couple situations where it can be beneficial. And one is possibly cancer. Yeah. And another is certain uh conditions like uh, you know have. stiffening of the heart which we've i have seen a testimony of someone doing like once them. a month you know four or five day fast the benefits of that and seeing some benefits for stiffening of the heart so um that's something you might want to consider but on the line of long-term fasting um i was running the beach uh three mornings ago and this lovely woman came up to me and she's like, are you Maria? And I looked like a drowned rat. Like <laughs> I did not look good. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's like I'm meeting a celebrity. She was so, so sweet. Her name's Karen. Maybe she's watching. She stays in Maui um, in the winter time, just down the street here. And she's like, I've been watching, like seeing you on the beach. And I'm like, been so shy to say anything. She's super nice. But she said, we changed your life. And I was like, well, tell me more. And she said, well, I needed to get healthy and I started extended fasting. And then I was diagnosed with osteoporosis. And I was like, yeah, your bones are made up of protein. And she's like, yeah, now that I do the protein sparing modified fast method, um, my bones are great now. I don't do extended fasting anymore. And she lost more weight than she ever thought she would. She looked real, I was like, I could never imagine you overweight. She looked super healthy. So, hey, Karen, if you're watching. And before we dive in too much to the questions, any super chats are very much appreciated oh, for you. support. We appreciate that very much. Um, but Joanne says, uh, hi, you two and everyone else excited for this live. Yay. Today's my birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thanks for Happy all the birthday. advice. That's free, almost dirt poor here. And you make me smile at your free help. We're going to try doing it more and more. We're going to try to do it more. When hey, Tony Hampton's hey, here. I was just going to read that. Hey, Tony, uh, Chicago Bears fans here. LOL, Karen and I miss you guys. Just want to... Do a holiday shout out to both of you and your sons and a beautiful dog. So we're still Thank waiting you, for Dr. Tony and his beautiful wife to come and cook with us here. Yes. We invited them to do some this like. summer we have to. We have to I know, but I think they up. want to come to Hawaii. Rather well, they than can come here. I mean, they're totally <laughs> welcome in Wisconsin. But yeah, either so way, well. we're going to do some maybe YouTube lives cooking with Dr. Tony. He's like the nicest doctor I've ever met in my life. 
Amy says, uh, hi from Chile, Northern Arizona. Ooh. Thailand, Chilling. maybe someday. Yes. That would be a lot of fun. Super fun. Uh, let's see. We got lots of hellos from all over Texas, Minnesota. Um, let's see. Uh, question about my annual religious fast. Um, I guess, uh, let's see, religious fast for our nation and for cancer in our family. Well, I wouldn't do extended fasting as a preventative measure for cancer. More of if you get diagnosed with cancer, then it possibly could help. Mm -hmm. um as far as religious we can't I mean, argue that yeah i mean it's it's you know whatever is allowed yeah. you know ideally i wouldn't do it too long um just because you start losing muscle uh but, i you worked know, with someone i can't remember what religion was she only could eat when it was dark out what is that mm. what uh is jewish uh i think that's is it i'm not sure which one she could only eat when it was dark out so we're kind of having a strategy yeah. plan because i didn't want her to skimp on her sleep either so i don't know so, Happy holidays from New York City. That is my dream to go to New York City in Christmas, during Christmas, and see the lighting of the Christmas tree and ice mm. skate. Somebody says bandwidth choppy. Is is it clear for everyone or is it a little choppy for others? Please. Oh, comment. thank you, Amy. Yes, blurry. You know what? I'm gonna stop a couple things here. I'm gonna How about turn I stop off my phone too. Yeah. I'm gonna turn off file syncing here. We're turning off our phones. And Dropbox. And I'm going to shut down this live over here. Oh, Danielle, there's my, are you talking about Bella, the dog, <laughs> or me, <laughs> my favorite gal? Huh. Hi, Marie and Craig, the video is blurry. Okay, I think we're fixing it. Okay, hopefully we'll be fixing, uh, get a, a little clearer here. New York Amy, City. thanks you so much for the super chat. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about South, uh, South Carolina, Texas for the nudge, no. SC, Texas. Um, New York City is amazeballs at Christmas. I was there when I was, it was my first time outside of Wisconsin. I was in eighth grade and I went to New York City and we saw the lighting of the Christmas tree and it just like it made me want to travel and it stuck with me now that I'm 40 plus. Mm. Yeah, I think maybe next year. The video stopped. Oh man, uh, it's not even. Okay, um, so we the, the internet we have here, it's really good download, but it's not very good upload. So our video is maybe a little choppy. So I apologize for that, but hopefully it sounds like you can all hear us so, just fine. Uh, my GI doctor thinks I have issues with bile ducts. Should I be eating less fat because of this? Also went to new acupuncturist and while talking to her, she is a great oh, fan of you both. That's well, tell her so thank fun. you. Uh, thank you, Maria. So with like bile duct issues, we're not necessarily high fat. It depends on what your goals are, what your, you know, yeah. So focus on protein for sure. Uh, yeah. Protein will strengthen the bile ducts. So focus mainly on protein and then using fat as a lever. Cut but the inflammation and carbs. We work down. with people with uh, no gallbladders at all, and they don't have any issues, even if they don't want to take some of the supplements I recommend, like the digestive enzymes and this and that. Um, they have no problems with diarrhea because um, we – don't do high fat with them. We focus on protein. Most of the time when oh, people good. do keto, flipping their macros, if they get like a macros done on a calculator yep. and it's like, you know, 200 grams of fat and, you know, 80 grams of protein, we're like, no, let's flip that yeah. and you'll do much better. Uh, so it sounds like video is cleared up. That's great. Uh, doctor said I have stuck feces in my colon. Any suggestions? Constipation. Um, Typically, the, the the biggest cause is not enough salt, salt, not enough electrolytes, and and your colon is a master extractor of water from the stool, and so if you don't get enough salt electrolytes to retain the water properly in the cells, it'll extract the water from the stool, making it hard and and constipated. So if you so are up your electrolytes, here's the thing: a lot of people will start keto or carnivore, and they get constipated and the problem is not keto or carnivore. It's that you're not getting enough sodium. So doing electrolytes, Craig's drinking an element right now. Um, you do, you know, element or just do your own soul water on my blog. I have a free recipe, how to make soul water and I'm more of a minimalist, so it's okay to do that. Um, and then also dairy and nuts. So a lot of times people jump on the ketogenic diet and they eat a lot of cheese and they eat a lot of nuts because it's easy. Those two things cause constipation um like so what else and when i say dairy i'm talking about cheese butter 
uh, whey protein, um, <clears throat> anything from a cow, anything. Yeah. So, and then what else? Cause I'm trying to think, uh, it could be low iodine, low iodine numbers could, uh, cause constipation. Just don't jump into taking iodine because not all of it's good. And you might have an issue with the whole absorption. So just with that. Um, let's see. We have somebody asking, I do an annual 40 day fast and use my plasma machine relig religiously to avoid any muscle issues. Um, so I personally would not recommend that. And the reason is a 40 day fast. I don't, it doesn't matter how much, you know, Pilates or strength training you do during that time, you are going to lose some muscle. And the reason this is so important, and, um, I'll put a link below this for the people that watch the recording, uh, to a, uh, video with Dr. Uh, Layman. Layman. And he talks, we talk about protein and we talk about especially protein with age and how important it is to maintain your muscle with age, because once you lose it after a certain age, it's really hard to gain it back. And so any muscle loss is, is something to, to really be concerned about with age and 40 day fast, you're going to lose muscle yep. period. And, and so that's something to consider. And I personally wouldn't and this, do a fast. This is why we recommend protein sparing modified fast method instead of extended fast because it's still you know it's basically mimicking a fast but you're getting enough protein to maintain or even build muscle and uh, talk a little bit about autophagy the main, main reason people do a longer fast is for autophagy autophagy is the body's process of breaking down cells that are old or aging and and building up new healthier cells um and the thing is though about autophagy is number one Probably the biggest uh, initiator of autophagy is strength training. And you break down muscle tissues and you have to build new and repair. Um, so that, that, you know, autophagy is very much stimulated by strength training. And you're gaining muscle, not losing it. And autophagy is always happening at some level, a lower level. And e even somebody eating a standard American diet and not fasting for a minute will do the equivalent turnover of all their protein cells four times a year so every three months you're turning over all your cells in your body through autophagy every three months and that's with standard american diets you know and and no fasting but so you know autophagy is always happening i don't think we have to go to extremes to make it happen more often other than do some strength training and you you'll kick it up but i, I don't know if you were here in the beginning but i talked about meeting uh karen on the beach and she was doing extended fasting and she got osteopenia, uh, no osteoporosis, which is a whole step level higher than osteopenia. This is bone loss. Like your, your, your bones are made up of protein. So yeah, bones are basically just, a matrix of protein that's filled in with calcium. Yeah. Here's the thing. Like you could live a really, maybe, maybe protein is aging, but you're going to live a longer life strong and like doing all the activities or you can be very frail and live to your 150. I don't know. I want to be strong to the minute I die. Danielle says, I've been following you, Maria. As you may know, you are awesome. Aww, Thank you. Love you. Video looks better. It's good. Um, Amy Phillips, read that. I'm, I'm down. down 170 total pounds. Wow. Nice. Uh, diabetic, no more. Gout gone, GERD yes. gone, chronic diarrhea gone, UTIs almost gone. Nice. Kidney function from 38% to 58%. Feeling fine. Just bought a jacket Yay. size 14 from a 3 4X. I love that, Amy. That's that is awesome. amazing. Amy. And if you Great could expand, job. did you do protein sparing or like what was your strategy? Maybe expand on that. Debbie's here. Uh, it is a little better, but still blurry. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, have you decided <sighs> what you want for your birthday? Yeah, we're doing creme brulee. He loves creme brulee, and it's kind so, of carnivore, except for the yeah, sweetener. Pretty much. Yep. Um, oops. Get off. How do I get? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Super chat from Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Uh, mindset, I need help, and I am just at in a funk. You know, so go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you you, you got to think of it as prioritizing your health in your life. Like, this is a priority you have to make for yourself, for your kids if you have them, for your family and those around you to be there for them. And if you're not eating healthy. You, you know, you're going to shorten your lifespan. And and Elizabeth, we know your struggles personally. Like you are the caretaker of multiple generations in your family and they do need you. And they without need you, 
how, what are they going to do? They need you at your best. And I, this is my thing. What there was times I've been doing keto for over 26 years, almost 27. And in the beginning, I would be really good during the week because I was busy with work and stuff. And then the weekends were hard for me because you would want to go to dinner and a French fry here became a glass of wine and just kind of like a snowball. Right. And I would wake up Monday morning just hating how I felt. But more than anything, what I really kind of mentally journaled in my head was that, OK, for like 15 minutes of pleasure in my mouth, I feel awful for days and I really am upset. My moods are bad, like I'm depressed. My you know acid reflux is back just for like a few minutes of pleasure of flavor. And you really have to weigh how much time you're really enjoying the food versus how much time is making you suffer. For me, it wasn't enough. Um, and now I feel like we're at the point, and Elizabeth, you know, you make these recipes. There's nothing we can't have. The boys and I made a red velvet cake yesterday, a flourless red velvet cake that has no almond flour, has no coconut flour in it. And I feel like there's nothing that we can't enjoy. But you know what? Your taste buds turn over every 15 days. You're growing new taste buds. So if you get something out of your, you know, flavor profile, like, you know, sugar, like whatever's triggering you, your taste buds will change because I thought I'd never not want certain foods. And now like I wake up craving a steak. Like I just do. I just want it so bad after my run. But if you would have asked me six, seven years ago, I hated steak. I would mm. be like, I'm not eating that gross, but it just like with time, it, I learned what the most nutrient dense foods are. And just getting them into your diet, it will change. But again, whatever you're craving, Elizabeth, you know, I have a recipe, I have a recipe for pop tarts. So you have to guess it takes time and effort. Um, but just have your whole house stocked. This is a hard part time because people are bringing in junk food and stuff. And so it's just at the ready, but you could combat that with having like my flourless chocolate tort or something in the freezer. So you can grab that instead. So a couple from Amy here. Uh, love the chocolate element. Yeah. yeah, that's great. And thank you for all you do. Just got eight cookbooks. Oh, oh Amy, thank you're you so, so sweet. much, Amy. Thank you very much. For and a support. super chat. Oh, and I and my MS is pretty much in remission. That is so, awesome, Amy. Uh, if you would mind sharing that testimony with us, we'd love to share to inspire others yeah. to this lifestyle and help other people. Um, if so, you send it to support at keto-adapted.com and we would love, love to, to share feature that. you. That's amazing. Yeah, for Great sure. Great job. So getting um, ready to start strength training at home. Any tips? Yes. I do not like going to the gym whatsoever. I don't like it. I like doing it at home. I can watch like my favorite TV show. I don't spend time watching TV except for like when I'm working out, which just makes it more enjoyable. Um, we have two great things you could use. Um, so for our members, a platinum membership costs less than a Weight Watcher membership. It's super cheap and you get meetings with us every week. Uh, you have my recipes, you can use the recipe index, but I also have strength training videos with me in them. And those are included in your membership. Or you could do the strength training package, which was designed by a complete expert everywhere from the absolute beginner with no, not even using weights, just using your body weight all the way to advanced. And when you order that, you get it for life. Yes. If you get, if you order that, you get it for life. So that's what's nice about that because everybody has things that happen in their family um, where you get derailed, but then like a year down the line, you can come back like, this is awesome. And what, like what I do is I just switch body parts and it was really hard for me to get back into strength training, but I feel so much better. My body composition is so much better. And if it's only 15 minutes, it's only 15 minutes. Um, and I spend less time running and I feel just much better, but I usually switch it like, you know, my core, my arms, my legs kind of just switching it up. Um, let's see. What was, uh, let's see. I, I have a ileal echo valve and part of ileum, uh, as well as no gallbladder have diarrhea with a, that is acidic. Any suggestions? Yeah. I would start by prioritizing protein and maybe reducing the fat a bit. If you got diarrhea, mm -hmm. if you're doing too really high fat and moderate pro, you know, too moderate or protein. Usually, dairy free is important. That can be an issue. But and I do then, have supplements. But yeah, I'd say if if you are prioritizing protein and not overdoing the fat, then maybe I, HCL digestive enzymes. Yeah, 
honestly a personal health assessment. Yeah, health assessment about that. probably. So uh, with multiple issues. When you have multiple issues, I like lack of sleep, you know, whatever it is, cravings. Um, I do health assessments for people. And I think some of the people here, I know Mandy has done one. Maybe she can chime in. Um, a personal health assessment to really like tell you everything you need to do, step you through it and what supplements to add when um, can be very helpful. Recurring UTIs, what could be causing them? Uh, a lot of different things. So one of them could be um, sex. You want to try to urinate after sex. That's just one of the things, um, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's really, um, <coughs> I would say the most common cause that nobody really talks about is low estrogen, low estrogen and low progesterone, because they often happen um, later in life as we get older or um, after you give birth um, because your hormone levels are changing. That is a really big cause. There is a supplement that I love because you have to be careful. Some of the supplements are just, they, they come from sugar. Do you know that? Mm. Um, but there's one that just thrive has, and we can put that in the show notes. Um, cause they have a discount for me too, but, um, it's a just thrive. It's the UTI support. It works very, very well. Um, it has a blend of different, not just probiotics, but some other things in there. And, um, my clients that have used it say that it's gone. So panel says, uh, I need tips on how to strength train at home. Um, it, it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't even have to buy a single dumbbell or barbell if you don't want to, and just use uh, resistance body, body weight training. That's what I do when um, I'm, when I'm traveling, I was yeah. doing it. Push up squats, pistol squats. Like there's a whole, I get a chair and I'll do tricep dips. dips. You yeah. can, you can, uh, do all kinds of curls with just, you know, a jug of water. And I want you whatever. to, I want you to leave with this, that five minutes of strength training is better than none. Yeah. 10 minutes is better than five. 15 is better than 10. So just be like, okay, all I got is five minutes. I'm going to just do it. Just do it. You know? Yep. yep. Uh, Maria says, love your recipes Aww. up to five books so far. Aww, thank so you grateful. so thank much you, for you. the super we chat. We did do a really good giveaway, which I was kind of bummed out about. I just have to be honest because I, I feel like I know these people. Um, I was really excited because we did, I did a giveaway of all of my books, which is probably like $300 worth, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought it was going to go like really big on Instagram and Autumn's here. And she knows I was really bummed out. I was like, nobody really cared about winning my books. And maybe I'm just, I don't know, out of touch, <laughs> but it just kind of made me like, rah, rah. but so uh, thank you for saying that. I social media, social media. I'll do more giveaways apps, if people social like media it. apps filter out and people don't see it. It's just the way. So it's. I'm supposed to just post a <clears throat> picture of my dirty plate with a half eaten steak. Yeah, and then that gets viral. I guess yeah. so. Uh, what cuts of beef are okay on protein spare amount of fast besides tenderloin and filet mignon? Uh, uh, lean, lean ground beef. We have a great chart oh, yeah. uh, that I will put in here and a video. Uh, we did the YouTube video about it. I did a video about the best meats for prioritizing protein and the things like chicken breast, any kind of fish pretty much. Heart. Um, no, she's talking about beef, right? Uh, oh, what cuts of beef? Gotcha. Yeah, heart beef heart is pretty I lean. lean ground beef. So um, like a ninety three percent lean ground beef. Um, yeah, 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 heart. Um, but in our book, we have a chart from leanest. To in our carnivore book. Yeah. Um, so the carnivore, we have an ebook too that has a chart that has all the cuts of beef, of pork, of whatever, and it, they're sorted in order of most the PDE ratio. So higher protein, less fat is on the yeah. top, and the opposite's on the bottom. So the charts and you don't really have to great. do that every day, but just being aware that you don't want to eat short ribs every day. You don't want to eat a uh, ribeye every, every day. Every single day. Like that's more of your meal. overfeeding day. We talk about overfeeding day. This is not a Pizza Hut day. That's or the ribeye day. If you have a ribeye for one meal, make sure the other meal is leaner. much leaner, and, mm -hmm. and then you'll get you enough protein. And uh, let's see. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you bet, Elizabeth. We'll see you as, on our meeting later today. As always, today. later today, we'll see you. Um, let's see, big jump there. Uh, let's see. To keep looking. Been low carb for, since for 95. 95. Carnivore since July. Maybe more ketovore. Uh, oh, that's Amy. Okay. Oh, that's how she lost the weight. Nice. Oh, okay, great. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Membership <laughs> is amazing. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Uh, much better video. Good. But you know, like Amy was saying that she went carnivore. That's not always like a simple way to lose weight. We, 
most of the people that we're getting lately are they've been trying carnivore, but they've been eating a lot of fatty ribeyes with butter and gaining weight. And, you know, they're being told that they're just healing this and that. And then they come to us, you know, you can 20- heal and lose weight at the same time. Mm-hmm. That's just how you heal. And, and you will heal faster. Yeah. So uh, my favorite treats in the world these days are your Boston cream donuts uh, and protein sparing donuts and protein sparing bread. Crap. You know my what? Dreams come true. Now you're going to want that for your birthday. <laughs> Yeah, they are one of my favorites. There's the probiotic, if you're interested. Uh, yeah, let's see. What bothers me, higher protein gets demonized in this space. Can you explain that higher protein does not equate to excess gluconeogenesis? I switched from high-fat carnivore. It's been a game changer. I just want to say something about that link. That's not the UTI link. So, Autumn, if you could put the UTI, if you search UTI on uh, Maria Mind Body Health, that's the right link because yeah, that's the too. probiotic. Yep. Um, so yeah, so it, it's a misconception that you eat too much protein, it's going to trigger gluconeogenesis and you, you ramp up a bunch of glucose being, uh, generated in the bloodstream, et cetera. And here's the thing I say about that. Um, the body, so you got to think of the, the energy in your blood, the, the ketones, the fat, free fatty acids, triglycerides, um, your glucose, all of these are fuels in the blood. Okay. Those fuels, the body's going to use the fuels that are available, right? If glucose is depleted, so you, your liver is kind of running out and you're not eating any glucose, there is a little bit of uh, glucose that's still needed for the body for Thyroid. red blood cells. They don't have any mitochondria. They have to run on glucose. And so what happens is the body's going to have to make some glucose. How does it make glucose in the body? Really two main ways, turn protein into glucose, gluconeogenesis, or you get a little bit of glucose from burning fat because fat is a triglyceride is a glycerol backbone with three free fatty acids. That glycerol backbone, those glycerol molecules, three of them can go to liver and make one glucose molecule. So you get a little bit of glucose from just burning fat. Uh, The rest, it takes protein and turns it into glucose. And it's what enables you to be keto in the first place. If, if the body didn't do gluconeogenesis, you couldn't eat zero carb. You'd run out of glucose and red blood cells would die and you, you would die. So it enables it to happen in the first place. But this misconception that it just will willy-nilly start converting a bunch of protein into glucose because you're eating more protein, let's go back to autophagy. Autophagy is turning over your cells, your protein cells, Every three months, your entire body. That's a lot of protein required for just maintaining the body, much less building muscle or anything like that. So those amino acids are are really treasured by the body for those tissues. And so it's only going to turn it into glucose, which is very expensive. It takes a ton of energy to turn protein into glucose. It's only going to do that if it needs glucose. And primarily, that's what happens. When it needs some glucose, it'll turn some protein into it. Let's make him expand on this more. So what happens is I was doing high fat carnivore, but I switched to doing high protein carnivore. My blood sugars are higher. That's bad, right? So um, it depends on the, I mean, there's a lot of detail to go into there. That's kind of a whole. Okay. uh, So it depends if it's morning fasting glucose or not. I mean, most people, what they'll find is they'll, uh, you can also have high morning fasting glucose when you're eating too much fat the day before. Mm Um, that's very common as well. So, uh, let's see. Mandy says my health assessment was a thorough questionnaire and supplements handpicked for my specific mm-hmm. needs. I feel confident with every recommendation. Thanks, Mandy. Provided. Thanks Thank for you. chiming in. Uh, it's, uh, thinking about, oops, just did a big jump. I don't know where we were thinking the of- resistance, uh, about resistance better than none. none. LOL. Yes. Yeah, keep thinking exactly. about that. Uh, early have all your books. Oh, thanks, uh, thank Debbie. You, Debbie. Uh, let's see. Just, it's just because of all your followers already have all your oh, books. You're too <laughs> Don't sweet. feel bad. Well, you give them as gifts if you win. Pro, probiotic good for severe systemic candida. Uh, above the link, the link is above. Yeah. That link's up there. Yes. Uh, we already have them. Mimo <laughs> says, thank you. All your books. Uh, Alternative calcium besides Nutridyne's as they are sold out. So I 
don't usually recommend calcium because calcium turns it calcifies in the arteries. It's very poorly absorbed, the calcium supplements. Um, and people mistakenly think that your body needs all this calcium for bone health. It's really more magnesium uh, and vitamin K2, getting your vitamin D levels tested. Uh, strength training is going to help you way more than a calcium supplement ever would. Um, as, as long as well as protein, they're doing a lot of studies and we have, um, we have a certified keto coaching program and we have assignments for them every week. And one of the latest ones was about, uh, bone health and how they reverse a lot of bone loss with protein an increase in protein. That's all that they changed. So focusing on protein is going to be important for bone health. Um, even if you're dairy free, you usually get enough calcium, but if you really like, here's the thing, I work with a lot of people with gastric bypass and the doctors always put them on like whey protein shakes, fat-free cheese, and calcium. I'm like, what the heck? So if you really want to do like a bone mineral calcium, do calcium hydroxy apatite and um, ancestral supplements has one. So we can have the link to ancestral supplements. We have a discount code for you, um, but they have a, a bone uh, supplement that's calcium hydroxy apatite. Okay, a couple people. Uh, I'm taking notes here for the video. There's the but, UTI supplement, I see. Uh, Jamie and Amber, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. Appreciate for the books. your support. Um, PSMF has been the only way I lost my old ribeye carnivore mm -hmm. ways. It's been a game changer. You both explained it all so well. Thank you, Amber. That is so sweet. I'm glad it helped. Uh, would you explain protein sparing modified fast indications and benefits? Okay. Uh, there's a great video about it. I'll put in the uh, show notes for anybody that wants to go further into detail uh, about it. But protein sparing modified fast, it's a clinical term. Maria used to call it pure protein days, which is better, no. I think, than that. But, you eat pure protein. Um, protein sparing means spare the protein on your body, your muscle. Modified fast means you modify a fast, which you do lose muscle, to preserve muscle. So it's modifying a, an extended fast to preserve muscle while still getting a lot of the benefits of weight loss and everything. So basically, it's a day where you, get, you eat the same or more protein that you normally would, carbs minimal, and then you just adjust fat down to 20 or 30 grams of fat, just enough to absorb fat-soluble vitamins and these kind of things. Um, and then uh, that that's a protein-sparing day, and you substitute a fasting day with that. So mm -hmm. instead of doing an extended fast day, two days, do one, two days of protein sparing modified fast. So it's a great tool for breaking stalls and, and we're not up trying to, so, so Cheryl's saying it's all confusing and we're not. So here's the thing. If you have a lot of body fat yeah. on your body, you can use that for your ketones and your ketosis. And that's what you're going to use for your energy. You don't need to eat the dietary fat because this is what happens. You know, people get caught up with higher ketone numbers and they're just, you know, eating the sticks of butter and stuff and they're, they're gaining weight because, and this is where their diabetes gets worse because yeah. they're, they are, they're stuffing their fat cells too much. There's too much There's fuel. Great it's like over putting too much gas in the gas tank. It's too much. And, and those, the people that are saying for weight loss to promote more and more fat, ask them, where does the fat you eat go? Cause if they say right through you, it's not true. You would be on the toilet all day long. If, that kind of fat, that amount of fat was going straight through you. It's not, it's being absorbed in the bloodstream. Once it's in the bloodstream, where does it go? You don't want it to stay in the bloodstream because that's sky high triglycerides. So it's gotta be stored. So it stores in your fat cells. And so if you're trying to shrink your fat cells and you're adding more and more fat to them, how does that help? Um, it's just, I mean, it's like having a bucket of water with a hole in the bottom. And you're like, I'm gonna empty this bucket quicker by dumping more water in the top. It doesn't make any sense. And that's what I would ask. Them. So in order for me to lose half my body weight, I had to lower the fat. But now that I finally got, you know, I'm lean and I exercise, I run now. I used to hate exercise. We can talk about that. I used to, I tried to break my leg doing running a mile um, in school, but now I really enjoy running, lifting weights. And so fat is my fuel source because protein is not a good fuel source. So if you have a lot of fat on your body, you can use that for your energy. But if you don't, you either need to choose carbohydrates or fat for your energy source. I always cho choose fat because carbohydrates is sugar to me, but that's where this, this comes into play. Protein is building your body. Uh, our bodies are amazing machines. Yes, they are. Uh, Tracy said, 
I made the fudge cookies and my oh, grandchildren yay. love them. Awesome. That's awesome. That warms I love my that. heart. Uh, let's see. Do people not realize that electrolytes and minerals come in protein? I feel it is one of the main reasons why many need to supplement potassium, calcium, magnesium on high fat because uh, any thoughts? Yes, you do get more electrolytes from the protein, um, but I still think it's, for most people, it's still beneficial, especially in the beginning stages when yeah. you're just starting out and you're dumping the water, retained water from high carb that you add electrolytes. Well, let me um, just add this magnesium in our ancestral days, we got magnesium from our water supply. And just like farmers know that they need to rotate their crops because all of the minerals get depleted from the soil. The soil now has no magnesium in it Yeah, and nobody drinks well water anymore we we have a well but we even had our well tested and there's no magnesium in that water everybody's drinking filtered water or bottled water which has no magnesium in it so this is why it's not just keto and carnivore people that need to yeah can you either come in or come out yeah go just go <laughs> dry off out there they're, they're, they're the on beach. the beach and they're all wet coming in but... like opening the door shutting it open the door and, and what i'll say is yeah you're definitely going to get more electric especially with potassium potassium is very high in in meats um, so adding more protein and moderating the fat a bit will help with that as well. Uh, let's see. Forgot super chat again. Oh, thank you, Amy. You're oh, so thank sweet. You. Uh, hello from Northern Minnesota. Oh, thank stay you. warm, Jenny. Awesome. Tampa, Florida. Hello. She is warm. Sugar equals bad. Yeah, it, it certainly does. Better uh, to do protein sparing on sedentary days. Or training days. Oh. Um, I would say. I wet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, you uh, all wet. Ooh, oh boy. So uh, I would say probably on your more sedentary days, I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't try to push a super hard workout. Your energy is not going to be great. Yeah. On protein sparing day. Of course, some people tell us that they feel the best on protein sparing days and they want to do it more often. And we encourage them not to only yeah. a maximum of three days a week. That's what we But this say. is not really for somebody who has only 10 pounds to lose because you're yeah. going to be miserable. You're going to be very hungry and your energy is going to be the bad. less fat on your body the harder it is for your body to utilize more of it as fuel. For example, you, Tyler. Yeah, if you're very big, if you're over 100 pounds overweight, you can eat very little fat and still feel fine because there's so much fat on the body to tap as fuel mm -hmm. that your body's totally fine. If you're 10 pounds away from a goal weight or whatever, you're gonna be really that, hungry. that's going to be really challenging to do a protein sparing day yeah. because it's so uh, low in fat and there's not a lot of fat in the body to tap in. For example, our client, Tyler, he was 650 pounds at the beginning yep. and he lost a hundred pounds in two months of doing protein sparing modified fast. He could get away with doing it more often because he had so much excess fuel on his body. Uh, what is a good magnesium supplement and how should you take it? Uh, we'll put a link. Yeah. Uh, so maybe Autumn could put a link in the super chat here. You're never going to find the chat. You're never going to find a quality magnesium at Target or Walmart or anything like that. You're going to want to go to either a health food store or online and never buy magnesium oxide. That's just going to give you diarrhea. Do not buy magnesium citrate. That is not good for your gut. You want to look for a chelated magnesium. And when I say chelated, it's magnesium glycinate, magnesium, magnesium theonate. Like there's different types of uh, chelated magnesiums, but you want to make sure it's attached to like a, an eight, like glycinate, you know, the eight, something like that. Um, it depends on if you have high blood pressure or sleep issues or cognitive issues as depending on which one I choose for a client. But most people like my kids do magnesium glycinate. Um, and you have to be careful when you purchase them because sometimes they have like maltodextrin in the ingredients or some sort of filler or it's not even GMP certified. So you want to be very picky. There's the link for the magnesium that we use. Um, and it depends on if you have high blood pressure, you'd want to do that in the morning because blood pressure is highest in the morning. If you have more sleep issues, you'd want to take it uh, like an hour before bedtime or at bedtime. And dosage anywhere from 400 milligrams 800 milligrams kind of in that range but like people with migraines usually need more like a thousand milligrams um and you can spread that out throughout the day if you're having like any because magnesium relaxes those blood vessels which is that's why it's great for blood pressure and why it's great for migraines headaches um about, about uh, i hate exercising 
and not sure how to begin to begin to feel good about wanting to engage. Oh, would you like stretching? Because yeah, stretching has the same benefit as uh, well, not the same, but muscle retention while losing weight. Uh, yeah. As or yoga. Yeah, just even um, stretching. So if you're like watching your favorite show, just like do some yep. stretches and like get down and just you know just move your body or like. If you like to dance, but you don't like to exercise, maybe put some music on and kind of just like get in the groove. Well, I think that's where a lot of these different Zumba and these different yeah. types of things is just finding something that you enjoy mm -hmm. while moving your body. I mean, that's what it's all about. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, no. doing bench presses and all that kind of stuff. It no. can be, you know, anything that you like. Sandy, um, read to Sandy's. Sandy says down 80 pounds with your way of eating. Over the last year, thank you, cholesterol had gone down significantly, 50 points, but recently skyrocketed car CA arteries, coronary artery scores, zero in all arteries except 15 and left ascending. Uh, That's so, all good. So, so Sandy, first of all. Way to go, first of all. Yeah. Uh, and how old are you? I mean, a calcium score of 15 at age 20 would be a huge concern at age 50 nothing it's you you're below norm you're below average and uh, also so have something your to consider there hormones changed because here's what really frustrates me that doctors do not address so cholesterol makes healthy hormones yeah. so when a woman goes through menopause or you know perimenopause her hormones are starting to tank which yep. means cholesterol is going to start going higher and higher and it looks really bad to an uneducated doctor. But yep. this is not a bad thing because the cholesterol is going to make healthy hormones. We have our some Trying of our increase your hormones. Some of our certified keto coaches that are in their 50s got their menstrual cycle back and they were kind of upset because they didn't want it. But I was like, that's youth, that's longevity, because they were eating yep. the proper cholesterol containing foods for their hormones. But and their hormones went up. So yeah. they're they're all sex hormones are derived from cholesterol. So, and also as you lose weight, you don't want to get your cholesterol tested until you're at a plateau for at least six months, because as you release fat into your bloodstream, it's going to make your triglycerides look off and things like that. And also when you get your cholesterol tested, do not drink coffee. People, first of all, you should never drink coffee, right? But don't drink coffee thinking that you're fasting because that is going to affect your triglycerides and almost double them in some cases. Do we mobilize toxins and oxidize fast from fat stores when losing body fat? Yes. yes. Uh, all animals store toxins in their fat cells. Um, and when you lose body fat, so you empty out your fat cells, some of the toxins will come out too and, the, and your, your liver will detox them. And this is sometimes part of the keto flu thing where people get a skin rash or different reactions because you know, these, the, or, uh, estrogen dominance can happen a lot of times because, uh, bad estrogens, like environmental estrogens will be stored in your fat cells. And people will get like the keto rash as they lose yep. weight. You're usually dumping. And it's like, you got to push through it. And there's certain supplements that can heal your skin faster. Yep. Uh, super Pamela, supernatural is amazing. <laughs> Virtual program. Uh, love to do it in the sunshine. Awesome. Yeah. Find, find what works for yep. you. Howdy from Texas, right. starting strength training, signed up for the platinum Woo! plan. Do my macros change? Will I be more hungry? Kathy, we do your um, macros for you on the as, platinum. And yep. we have meetings every Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Central. So don't miss that. And if you've already filled out the personal macros and gotten those from me um, and you want to change your goals, then resubmit them and I'll adjust. If you are more hungry, well, here's the thing. There's something called like leptin and it's like this metabolic thermostat and it likes your body to stay at homeostasis and as you lose weight your thermostat kind of turns up because it doesn't like that you're losing weight some people lose it fine and they don't get hungry hunger often comes from lack of sleep and exercise will increase your hunger like intense exercise so you just have to be aware that hunger is not necessarily a bad thing um you just have to you know I'm working out at the gym every other day and I'm uh, upping my weight as I go. I also fast while working out. Uh, I'm a little defined, but not, how do I get more defined like you, Maria? Oh, uh, time. Uh, you know, it's, this, this takes a lot of time and building my, getting enough protein in your diet, yeah. number one, and keep, keep pushing it, like pushing your muscles to be yeah. to the edge where they feel like you can't do that last rep and those kind of things. I don't know if I do that all that much, but well, I eat a lot of protein. understand, but I I'm probably, saying that's a good way to build muscle. Um, they want to build more. I probably eat almost twice as much protein as what my macro says. 
on the on the calculator or whatever. But less of everything else. Just saying. Yeah, I mean, prioritizing protein is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Topical magnesium. If yes. you cannot uh, either absorb, you know, if you have a nutrient issue, especially like if you have low iron or something, Michelle. Like, there's a lot of things could, that it could affect your body composition um, and how you're building muscle. Um, and if you're not absorbing like the iron that you're eating, if you have low iron, but you're not losing blood, you, um, are eating plenty of meat. Like you have to find out the why. And it's usually like a gut issue that you're not absorbing nutrients, which would mean you're not going to absorb the supplements either. So like a hydrochloric acid with pepsin helps with absorption and nutrient, um, absorption. But what, what does glycinate mean? Stevia, it's a, like it's a glyconate is a amino acid. Yeah, so a gluconic acid. Salt. Stevia glycinate, um, not gluconate. Glycinate. It's an yeah, amino acid. Glycinate, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Kai. Tracy says hi, yeah, Kai. Somebody says hi. Uh, Maria says, yeah. do you recommend castor oil packs for liberty detox? That's, yeah, that's something that's very, they're very, very effective. And I have that on my website too of, you know, the, the liver castor oil packs. If you, usually with like a little zendocrine oil, um, helps really detox. It's awesome. Oh yeah, blood pressure has normalized. I've been uh, doing stretch lab two act two times a week for a year. That's nice. awesome. Way to go, Amy. Um, so don't sixty get... years old, Santa said. At sixty, yeah, I'm I'm guessing the fifteen CAC score is below average, mm -hmm. like probably t t bottom twenty five percent of people at sixty. But there's you, you can uh, Google that search for calcium score with age for rankings and uh see maria your arms are very defined <laughs> much more than mine 45 year old male here uh what's your secret i don't know just don't sit down and i eat you know a lot of protein active. like like a lot of lean protein it's just you know i don't know like, you said don't drink coffee what's wrong with coffee come on now people it's the most mold containing thing out there and even dave astry's coffee has mold in it um, despite what he says, um, it makes you less insulin sensitive. This is a bad thing. This is also what happens to women that go through menopause, like why they, you know, can't drink alcohol like they used to, or, you know, carbohydrates, but coffee makes you less insulin sensitive in the long run. This is really a bad thing. It often, uh, it increases blood sugar on average about 8%. Um, it makes your teeth brown. It will increase your cravings later in the day. Um, usually causes anxiety. Everybody has sleep issues and it will mess with your sleep. Should I go on? Because I have a lot. It causes <laughs> gastroparesis. I mean, I see a lot of illnesses with people and coffee. It's so funny because coffee's a bean, which has anti-nutrients and all these carnivores still drink coffee. Oh no, maybe they shouldn't. Yeah, they should not. I mean, there's, it, it, we've had people who had just plain black coffee, ca uh, caffeine free. Decaf. And they, have, caffeine they have more cravings during the day. Yeah, so, decaf coffee still has caffeine in it. So that's... And it's made with a chlorinated filtration process, which is very bad for your liver and your thyroid. So this one so. is a good one. And I, we'll both have probably a lot to say about this one. But uh, we have someone asking, do you, do you two get cr criticism on this way of eating? My family and friends all say I went off the deep end for prioritizing health and nutrition while they are all obese. Moderation, they say. Okay, first of all, how is moderation working for them? <laughs> I mean, obviously it's not. And as far as families go, I, I don't. Our our families don't give us criticism anymore. I don't think. Not well. They don't follow us. So not either. really. But they don't follow us either. Uh, they don't follow this lifestyle. They said that they'll get too skinny. Yeah. Well, and I even your mother also That's said fine. that uh, that this way wasn't good long term. Keto isn't good for you to eat long term. I'm, my numbers um, are better than they yeah. were when I was 16. So, I mean, it's a struggle even for us. And we've been doing this over 20 years. But so. here's the thing. Um, when people are triggered, when you change, you yeah. are now different from them. You are not going to partake with them. You're not going to make them feel normal and okay about eating the whole box of cinnamon rolls, which I used to do. You know, they, they want you to be that way because then they feel like it's okay to do it too. That is the truth. And for me, the thing that just blows my mind is that they'll call somebody eating meat and low carb vegetables disordered eating, mm -hmm. but somebody eating the a absolute box of cinnamon rolls. rainbow of crap mm -hmm. that is in the standard American diet and the, all the boxes of 
processed garbage, that's normal. Yeah. Like how upside down are we? At what level of illness do we have to go to, to change our diet? Cause I was very yeah. sick. I had a lot of illnesses, but my parents, my mom in particular was upset that when I changed my diet, you know, like she didn't want it to happen and she still is not, you know, she's okay with it. But at what level of illness? Cause like if I had cancer, then, oh yes, you know, don't eat the sugar, this and that. But and that's what I feel like with kids. Oh, just let them be kids. Let them eat the Skittles. That's just food dye and sugar and high fructose corn syrup. Like, why is that, that okay? And then they turn 18 and they should not have a sugar addiction. That's not going to happen. Yeah. And so, uh, Amy says, sometimes you need to distance, use your success, let them be, uh, where they are. You eventually inspire them. And yes, that's a, true. That's a great way to look at it is just keep doing your thing. Show them with your energy, with, you know, how good you look, how your skin is glowing, your hair looks great. Like everything is going to show them over time. They're going to be like, man, you, you look amazing. How are you doing this? My hair never That's looks better. I mean, but I do want to say, oh, shoot, what was I going to say about, um, oh, Melissa, we had an interview. Melissa, was it yesterday or the day before? Um, she had dementia, like really bad dementia. And there's like this test where you can, when you get tested, it's, it's up to 30. And if you're like zero to 15, you have dementia. 15 to 22, it's like moderate. And then 22 to 30, you're fine. So she was, uh, I think 13 or something, very low. Uh, 15, I think the first test was. Okay. Um, and she Which... started eating only my recipes. And, you know, within three months, she was registered at 20 something, 25 or something. I think her last one was. But she was on our, our meeting and yeah. we have dementia. We can't remember, but we just had a meeting with her and only three months. She totally changed. She inspired her whole family to start eating this way. Her whole family, her kids, her daughters, her son-in-laws. And yeah. this is what upsets me. Like how many testimonies do we need to get to get our families and our parents to eat this way? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah. Me either. Uh, what about teas? Okay. I mean, somebody else says, what about mushroom coffee? They have a lot of oxalates. Um, I mean, yeah. mushroom coffee. I mean, I, I mean, what is it? Do you want something warm in the morning? I, I mean, mean, it might be a bit better, but still, like the oxalates, other things. Yeah. Um, I I drink Element, so that's what I ch changed my coffee to. Yeah, there's different drinks you can have, but like I have a whole blog post on why I don't drink coffee, which is very helpful. Um, but we don't have a lot of time left. Um, uh, so, convince about coffee. Any. Uh, about the detox process. Well, yeah, on the, the blog post, we'll have a link. Headaches were brutal. Yeah, Maria talks about that all. And we got a video too. I'll link both of them. Uh, protein sparing curry recipe. Yes, it's in either the Art of Fat Loss or the new uh, Pure Protein. There's a Pure Protein cookbook. I have three uh, protein sparing, protein sparing ebooks. And here's the thing, people: you might have the printed books that Amazon they made millions from. We do not. So we. Uh, have decided to only self-publish because Amazon, the publisher, they take just about everything and we're left with pennies. And so just switch, I leave my best recipes for um, my eBooks and my recipes have never been better. And my latest books are eBooks. So um, we do have a holiday eBook that, you know, like, thank you for the super chats, but I want you to get something out of it. If you're looking for something special, get yourself a gift of like the holiday. It's the ultimate holiday ebook. Most ebooks only have 40 recipes, and this one has 160 some. Yeah. So that's, you're yeah, getting your money. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm a worker bee. That's my thing. No, mushrooms don't have oxalates. Teas. I was saying tea. Yeah. Tea has oxalates. A lot of different no, teas, mushrooms yeah. are kind of like a carnivore thing to me because kind of in between. they're not really a plant. Let's see. Are you familiar with the copper peptide patches? It's supposed to promote. Stem cells is it similar to peptides you inject. Um, uh, I'd I be a little more skeptical. I, I wouldn't think they would be as good as the injectables. If, I mean, if it's GHKCU, uh, that is a copper peptide that I do inject, and it might be. I don't know how much you're going to absorb through the skin, though. Um, yeah, I would think it would be less effective than an injectable. Yeah. But, um, I wish my whole family would adopt this way of eating. They seem. They see my outlook, happiness, and weight has all improved with carnivore, yet their doctors say, no, no, no. And I think that's a big part of it is their they doctor. go to their doctor, and their doctor, who has no nutrition education, tells them, oh, that's going to kill you. Mm -hmm. And so they're conflicted, and that's what you just have to break through. I think I lost 
hair super quick with anxiety from regular coffee that I used to drink. Well, there you go. Um, uh, a lot of it has to do with like blood pressure or like uh, circulation to the head. So um, that's why electrolytes are really important on, you know, the carnivore or keto lifestyle because you want to get a lot of times your blood pressure drops and then you're not getting the blood flow to your head either. Uh, thinking of moving to Hawaii, uh, are there local farms there? I prefer locally raised meats if possible. Actually, two really good things here on yeah. Maui. Uh, first of all, they have Maui Cattle Company, which is all grass-fed cattle right here on the island. Yep. Uh, you can go right to the processing plant, yep. and we do that. And do. We get we get meat right from the processing plant. But access deer. Um, and there's also access deer, which is they're actually a menace. They're growing. They're overpopulated. Shoot rights out of your house. They're the one of the best tasting wild game meats out there. And you can basically harvest as many as you want if you're into hunting. Um, that's a great way to get cheap and lean and very uh, uh, tasty meat here. Uh, decaf coffee still has caffeine and it's made with a chlorinated filtration process. But Shirley says that 168 recipes I'm ordering now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, awesome. Shirley. That's like Julie, awesome. Julie, you both look great. Oh, Aww, thank thanks, you. Julie. Thank I you. love your National Lampoon's <laughs> Christmas Vacation. Yep, Griswold family. One of our favorites. Yeah. One of our favorites. Bingo. Um, but like on our like signal to go, Kai wants to watch the Packers start the Packer game. Yeah. But I just want to say thank you for everybody with their kindness and stuff. You know, like I was dealing with a lot with everything. Um, uh, the changes that I went through and I'm still not comfortable with it. But oh, the boys want to say hello. But I just want to thank you for your support and kindness. And if you don't know, now you know. Micah, come here. Come say hi. Just He's got his shirt off. Yeah. yeah. All right. If you don't know, now you know. That's Kai's favorite thing. Yeah. If you don't um, know, now you know. The books that most of you have, you probably know this, but I'm not sure there's new people here that you're going to watch it. Um, I started writing the first book, and I'm going to start crying. When my husband lost his job, I was a rock climbing guide, so maybe the arms are from the rock climbing days. Um, when he lost his job, someone said, Maria, why don't you put your recipes together in a book to help raise money for your adoption, right? Yeah. And so I did, and it was... The most Where amazing, it, it was the most amazing experience ever. So thank you all for your support because you made this family happen. You really did. So thank you. And hopefully we'll do this again. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try to do more of these. Just stay tuned to our social media. It we'll, will not we'll, be next Sunday because it's Christmas Eve. Subscribe to this channel. Thank so you. you. Get Tell your friends to subscribe. We cannot grow our YouTube. Help us out, people. Thank you. Happy holidays, everyone. They want to update on your ankles and spondylitis. Maybe next time. Next time. Okay. You have to come back. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for bringing that up and asking.